The Xiaomi Mi 9 was Xiaomi's first device with an in-display fingerprint scanner, and now they have the Redmi K20 Pro. So how does the Redmi K20 Pro in-display fingerprint scanner compare to the Xiaomi Mi 9? Today we're gonna find out. Hey, my name is Mitchell. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about the tech I use. Before we go any further, I wanna go ahead and thank everyone that uses my affiliate links. Without your support, I couldn't buy all this tech. Also, shout out to my Telegram community. It's one of the best tech communities online. If you're a non-native English speaker and you wanna see some written content, go ahead and check out my website. I'll have a link to my website in the description down below. Enough talking, let's just hop into this. So last night I picked up the Redmi K20. I've already published two videos on this and I was using the in-display fingerprint scanner and I noticed that it's really, really fast. I've only programmed one fingerprint in it and it seems to be much faster than my girlfriend's Xiaomi Mi 9 with my fingerprint in it. But my Mi 9 has a tempered glass screen protector on it and my K20 doesn't. So how good is it if we have like a old beat up tempered glass screen protector? And more importantly, is this seventh generation in-display fingerprint scanner that Xiaomi talks about better than the in-display fingerprint scanner that we have on the Xiaomi Mi 9? Let's do a comparison. Okay, so here we are over at the desk. Uh, I've got the girlfriend's Mi 9 with only one of my fingerprints scanned into it. I've got my Redmi K20 Pro with only one of my fingerprints scanned into it. Now I do have a tempered glass screen protector that is on the Mi 9, but I also have a beat up old tempered glass screen protector uh, from my Poco F1. We should get pretty bad performance through a scuffed up bad screen protector. So if it does well through this screen protector, it would be like if you had dirty fingers or a dirty screen. So. I messed the missed it. Let's try this again. So. Pretty, pretty quick. But is the Redmi K20 better? Ooh. That certainly did seem snappier, but the, again, there's no screen protector over the K20 right now. And we only have one fingerprint in. Let's go ahead and take this beat up old tempered glass screen protector Uh, guys, tell me what you think is faster. Because honestly, I have one fingerprint here on the K20, one fingerprint here on the Mi 9. Again, we're waking both of these devices up beforehand. I mean, what do you think? What do you think is faster? Comment with what you think is the faster response time in the comment section down below. But it certainly seems like the K20, even with this old beat up screen shield, is the faster device. Now, Xiaomi claims that there is a seventh generation fingerprint scanner uh, on the Redmi K20 Pro. And I'm not sure if that means that what we have on the Mi 9 is a sixth generation in display fingerprint scanner. Okay. See, it's, it just feels like the overall area of the one on the Mi 9 is smaller. And I think after doing this test live with you guys, I can confidently say that the Mi 9 is slower than the Redmi K20 Pro.
Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you guys want to see more videos about the Redmi K20, go ahead and click or tap this video over here. If you want to see videos about the Xiaomi Mi 9, click or tap over here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, just go ahead and click or tap right up here. Until next time, it's been Mitchell. See you next time.